Christmas time, polar coordinates, North Pole in that. If you want to be Santa Claus, you need to know how to do this question, isn't it? Uh, we have this beautiful diagram that I personally drew myself. Uh, R is 3 plus 2 cos theta. Theta is between 0 and 2 pi. POR, where's that? POR, POR, and QOS are perpendicular at O. Show that the lengths OP, OP, OQ, OR, and OS add to some value K. Find that value of K at the same time. And then we'll find the shaded region area. Uh, okay, cool. So I think I can fit this here. It's only three marks. OP. What is OP? Well, here's P. It's coordinates. It's polar coordinates are R, uh, R, R, alpha. Yeah, R being this length and alpha being the angle it makes to the pole. So we're just going to sub in this angle into here. We'll get R is 3 plus 2 cos alpha. Then OQ, I guess, we can find next. Now, we need to find out its angle to the pole. It will be, well, if this is 90 degrees, these are all perpendicular, right? So these are all 90 degrees. So it will be alpha plus pi over 2. So I have 3 plus 2 cos of alpha plus pi over 2. Now, because we're going to add all these together, I don't think we can keep it like this because we're trying to add these together, right? So we need to know what cos of alpha plus pi over 2 is. Now that, using transformations, is negative sine alpha. Now we could prove that really quickly. So we can use our cos addition rules. So it goes cus cus soin soin. Cos cos. Cos changes the sign. Okay. So cos of pi over 2 is 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we get minus sine alpha. All right. So this is 3 minus 2 sine alpha. Now because all of these lengths are the same, all of these lengths are the same, I can literally say that OP is the same as OS. So that equals OS. And this also equals OR. So when we add these together, we're basically doing two uh, lots of uh, yeah, so we're doing two lots of basically both of those added together. So, or maybe it would actually be represented slightly differently. Uh, in terms of absolute value, it would be the same. Um, but this value might become the negative version. I'll show you what I mean. So with OS, where's OS? So this one. So this angle here is minus minus, ah, it'll be, I'm bugging out right now. This is alpha minus pi over 2. Yeah, because it's 90 degrees. So let's just take a look. So OS will be 3 plus 2 uh, cos of <laughs> alpha minus pi over 2. Uh, let's see what that gives us. So doing our couscous, so cos alpha cos of pi over 2, cos changes the sign plus uh, sine alpha, sine pi over 2, okay? And this is 0, so yeah, we get the positive version, so we actually get 3 plus. Ah, so maybe uh, I just represented it slightly differently. Here's me hoping that doesn't, that's actually the negative version of this one. All right, just ignore what I said, didn't it? Maybe I just drew it. My drawing's not as nice as what it was on the diagram uh, from the actual question. So we've got 3 plus sine alpha. And then we've got to do the last one. I was hoping I could have fit in the... fit in one here, but I guess I'm struggling right now. So what is it? All I need to do. That's probably going to be the negative of this one. But just the, it'll probably be the negative of that. It'll be 3 plus 2 sine alpha, but let's just double check, in it. So where am I? Where am I looking? OR. So OR is, now what's going on there? So this angle was alpha minus pi over 2. They were minusing another pi over 2. 
which would be minus pi. So here we got 3 plus 2 cos alpha minus pi. So we got cos alpha, cos pi, cos changes the sign, sine alpha, sine pi. Now it's sine of pi, that's 0. Cos of pi is minus 1, so we get 3 minus 2 cos alpha. 3 minus 2 cos alpha. All right, so when we add them together, so when we add them together, what happens? The, this cancels with this. This, I've missed out the 2. These cancel. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So K is 12. All right, that was more stressful than I initially anticipated. All right, part B, part 2, given that alpha is pi over 4, find the shaded region. All right. So the area, the area, so it comes from areas of sectors, half r squared theta. So the area in polar is a half, we keep the half outside, integral r squared d theta. Now, we just need to know what the limits are. Now, when we do sums in polar, we're summing this way. Yeah? So when we do Cartesian, we sum like rectangles. Here we sum around the pole and we rotate anticlockwise. So, now that they've told us that alpha is pi over 4, uh, this is pi over 4, we are integrating, starting at pi over 4, all the way to whatever this is. All right, we're going around the sector. Obviously, here it's not a uniform radius, but we can still call it a generic, well, sector in an informal way. So, we've got pi over 4, then we integrate all the way up to whatever pi over 4 plus pi over 2 is, which is 3 pi over 4. Okay, so between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. So we have a half integral. Uh, I'll write the limits later. R squared. So squaring this, damn, this is going to be long. 3 plus 2 cos theta squared d theta. So we get a half. Square this, 9 plus, multiply these together, 6 cos theta, double it, and then square this, 4 cos squared theta, d theta. Now you guys, further mathematicians, should be very used to this by now. To integrate something like this, we need to use our double angle ID for cos. So cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared minus 1. We double everything, we'll get 2, 4, 2. So we add that over, all right? So we're going to get 1 half integral 9 plus 12 cos theta plus 4 cos squared is 2 cos 2 theta plus 2 d theta. Add these together, 11. 11, 12 cos 2 cos 2 theta d theta. Man, this hurts your, your arm, man. All right, so uh, this is easy, integrating that. I always double check, yeah, if you're in an exam, you don't want to make any silly mistakes. My guess is sine theta. When you differentiate that, you get cos, so that integrates to this, but I wanted 12, so I get 12 sine theta, mate. Here, it's gonna be sine, keep the angle the same. When you differentiate that, you get two cos two theta, but that's what we have, so it integrates back to sine. So we are left with a half. Now I'm going to introduce my square bracket. We get 11 theta, 12 sine theta, plus sine 2 theta, between pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. OK, so subbing our things in, we get a half. 11 times 3 pi over 4 would be 33 pi over 4. Plus, all right, sine of 3 pi over 4, I can't lie. I don't want to use my calculator in it. I mean, I, I really should, to be honest. But anyway, it should be the same as sine of pi over 4, isn't it? Because this is a secondary value for, here's a secondary value for uh, uh, sine. So that means it should be root 2 over 2. Yeah. Root 2 over 2 times 12, 6 root 2. 
Something that in today you get 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 is 1. No, minus 1, sorry. Minus 1. Minus, subbing in pi over 4, we get 11 pi over 4. Then subbing that in, we get 12 sine pi over 4, which remember was the same, right? So that's 6 root 2. And then sine of pi over 2 is 1. So you get plus 1. These cancel, which is great. Uh, we get 33 pi over 4 minus 11 pi over 4 is 22 pi over 4, which is 11 pi over 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that's wrong. But anyway, quick maths on that. Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't leave my answer like this. I would personally factorize out a half. So I get a quarter on the outside. Then you double everything here. 11 pi minus 4. 11 pi minus 4, yeah. And that, my friends, is our answer for five marks. Okay, cool. So a cheeky eight marks for everything. Uh, guys, if you learned something new, maybe over here, <laughs> hit the like button and um, subscribe for more content like this and join my Loon Gang Reddit, submit questions over there. Uh, we can discuss the answers or I might make a video on it as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.